check, check, check. Hey y'all, grandest risings, grandest afternoon, grandest evening, whenever I decide to post this. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today. Today's video will be about my favorite hydroponically grown plants. My favorite plants that I have been growing in water for a while and I've had good experiences with because I know a lot of people don't do too good with the soil or overwatering and underwatering. So we're going to get rid of the soil in its entirety and we just going to grow it in water. So yeah, I'm going to tell y'all my favorite plants and why I love them. And yeah, I just feel like they're great beginner plants. So first I'm going to pot the spider plant propagations that I've been growing in water for a while because I don't think those can live in water indefinitely but some other plants can so yeah let's get into the video all right y'all so per usual you're gonna need your two cups of potting soil indoor potting mix and then you're gonna need the spider plant propagations but yeah we just got us some regular indoor potting mix for now you want to put it in these small containers they don't really need too much room because if you give them too much room it can lead to like root rot and other things like that here are the babies these are the spider plant babies i've been growing them in water for a couple weeks now and they are like very nice and rooted like look at that look at that like just get into it so they are more than ready to go ahead and start their journey growing in soil. That's one. And I have a few babies here, but just look at all those good roots. So yeah, these are all the roots on the babies and we just gonna transfer those over to soil. You just wanna make a little clearing inside of the pot big enough to wide enough and deep enough to fit the spider plant in there so we're gonna put this one in there first this is one of the bigger ones i'm so excited for these to grow y'all because well before i show y'all the water i'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the big spider plant i have because it's just too cute to not show but yeah so you're just gonna stick them in there and you're gonna fill up that dirt back around it we got one baby in here and we're gonna do the other one so they don't go in shock since you're switching them from water to soil you just want to drench I'm just making a mess this morning. <laughs> but you're just going to want to drench the um soil and just keep it moist for a couple days, weeks. Yeah, let me go get one of them drainage pots. I really don't even know why I just did that, honestly. So I'm going to sit in one of these cups for now so I can drench it. But yeah, so you're just going to want to drench the soil let it drain out and all that but yeah keep the soil moist for the next few days to weeks to reduce the chance of shock and then these are good i will check in on them and update y'all so y'all this is the spider plant it was very small when i first started growing it but she's literally thriving she looks so good but yeah just wanted to show y'all that back to the bed since we are done with the spider plant it's time to get into my favorite hydroponically grown plants eventually i do want to switch like 90 i mean i do have a good amount that grows in water already but eventually i do want to switch to like 90 percent plants grown hydroponically or in like leka or perlite something of the sort just because it's a lot easier to maintain it brings a lot less pests and bugs and yeah i just think it's easier to keep up with honestly just keep the water filled up fertilize it etc so yeah first well you you can already see her by my hip right here you wouldn't even think this plant is grown in water this is in top three 
definitely I've had this particular plant her name is Shiloh for like almost three years now this is a lucky bamboo plant even if you're not a plant person you should definitely get lucky bamboo first because it's just literally so easy to maintain you literally could leave them in a dark corner and they would still grow just make sure the water is filled up light dark like they're just great 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 beginner plants so yeah lucky bamboo i'm gonna I'm just show y'all how many i got i mean i sell lucky bamboo as well but i do just keep them to keep them see look at her like and they're great for like decorative pots so like i get these from goodwill and i just fill it up but yeah they're literally so perfect you just put you some rocks in there any color and then you just put the plant in there lucky bamboo lucky bamboo where else where else lucky bamboo like just look at her and more see like i literally repurposed so many containers so like you got this little glass coconut water bottle and you just put the plant in there like they literally they're just so great like honorable mention lucky bamboo I feel like we should already know what the next plant is gonna be. Like, it's literally top two and it's not number two. It's gonna be Pothos. Like, Pothos just does it every time for me. Like, like just look at her. Pothos is so great in water. Like, literally, like, go get this plant right now run do not walk don't walk at all just start running immediately like pause the video and go get one and then come back seriously so great like her like i've been propagating majority of my pothos propagations they came from the same plant that i've had for like six years maybe even seven now but literally these are only like this one's probably like a year old maybe less but just look at her you see the roots all you have to do is change the water out make sure the water is fresh and she gonna do her thing like i just love photos it's so beautiful it's a great vining plant you see her let me, let me show y'all the rest because this really this really is nothing compared to how much photos i really have look at her she's back like and y'all see how the leaves are so shiny i spray my plants with um it's like a mix with water and neem oil that keep all the pests away keep your plants bright and shiny but like you see you see the roots like you see her see her like they're just so good they're extremely low maintenance they can do good in bright light or low light you can put it in the bathroom you can put it in the bedroom. You can put it wherever you want, honestly. They do good in a lot of different conditions. Just definitely one of my favorite plants, like hands down. More pothos. This is the Mandula pothos. She, I did this in another video actually, but yeah, she's still in water good. More pothos. Like I use all the cutest containers. Like look at the rum bottle. And here go pothos. She just thriving more pothos and even more pothos like just pothos here pothos there pothos everywhere honestly and another pothos but y'all really get the point pothos is that girl next we gonna get into hmm, what's the next one? Oh, i literally don't know how i could ever forget about her She's definitely, so it's always going to be Lucky Bamboo. This is in no specific order because if it was, Pothos would probably be first. But you got Lucky Bamboo, you got Pothos, and then you got the Peace Lily. Like, even the first time I showed my Peace Lilies in one of my earlier videos, I mentioned how Peace Lily could grow in water, and a lot of people did not know that and yeah she's been doing her thing in water i have this one like just look look at her look at the rules get into it i need to change this water out but yeah 
peace lily it grows great in water in soil it would usually you know droop to tell you when it needs to be watered or whatnot but in water it just do its thing all you have to do is fill it up when the water runs low and yeah they don't like a lot of light though y'all i'm gonna show you all my other peace lily that in the last video it was doing so good but i had moved it closer to the sun for some odd reason not sure why i did that i was probably just trying to see if it would grow but and she's like she's doing a little bit better now but she did slowly start dying but i'm gonna show y'all her almost not that young. but yeah so this is the one i was talking about in the last video she had a flower at the top but the flower ended up dying and i had to trim a few leaves and basil keep drinking the water out of her like i need to put her up because she be drinking the water out of my plants and i'm just like why are you doing that like she has a whole water bowl and she still comes to drink the water out of my plants but anyway so yeah this is this one and then i'm gonna show y'all the big big piece of lily i have that's growing in water as well all right guys so this is the bigger piece of lily that i have growing in water I need to change this water too, honestly. She's been in water for a little moment now, and she is sprouting up so many new little babies. It was originally growing in soil, and it just kept trying to die. So I was like, water. Like, that's, that's my fix-all for not every plant, obviously, because you would not put a cactus that's dying in water. It's just going to die faster. But... For certain plants, definitely, as soon as I see that it's done, I'm going to go ahead and try to save it by putting it in water. And 90% of the time, it works. Sometimes, it don't because the plant might go into shock or something. But Miss Lily here, she's been doing very, very good. Look at her green foliage. Getting to it. But yeah, so... um, Peace Lily, Pothos, Lucky Bamboo... And then next, we gonna get into, hmm, I have a Birkin that it was growing in soil and I transferred it over to water and now it's doing so good and it's so much new growth. So I'm gonna show y'all that next. That's a good, that's another good plant that can grow in water. And then, um, I'm gonna show the Swiss cheese Monstera and I have another variegated plant that's doing good in water as well i'm not sure if i said syngonium or what but if i did this is her i have a little piece of lucky bamboo in here with her too i really i be like putting a lot of different water propagations in the same pot because why not they all should grow and if anything oh yeah add pothos cuttings to like when you're propagating the plant add a pothos cutting they provide a lot of the nutrients and stuff that the plant needs to help it start rooting faster so yeah pothos it literally just solves all but yeah syngonium right here she is a great plant just go to your nearest nursery buy it from the store and just take it out split them up and transfer them over to water i have this variation then i have this one the pink one like pink and green but yeah these have been doing great in water so far they grow nicely and i also have one that i'm trying to propagate in perlite but yeah these do very good in water definitely you should get these honestly anybody can get all the water plants because as long as you're changing the water and keeping it clean it'll grow so i just feel like water plants in general growing plants hydroponically is better for beginners so yeah we have her pretty so this is the Swiss cheese Monstera I was telling y'all about. This leaf look like it's trying to go, but like, I don't even know if you can see the root from here. Yeah, that one root, as long as it done grew, that mean it's good. Um, All of this was not here when I first put it in water. So it's been just, it's very leggy right now. So eventually I might break it off, but you see, you see the little leaves trying to come and do its thing. But yeah. They have been doing very good growing in water. What the fuck is that? I knew something had to be wrong with that leaf. It looks like webbing in... Oh! Webbing equals spider mite. So, not playing those games. This is a good water plant. 
look at it rooting it's been doing great so i'm probably just gonna you know indefinitely keep it in water because why not or i might nine times out of ten i'm gonna keep it in water but yeah she is a good one oh yeah the birkin plant i was talking about this is her she was in soil for a while hold up let me angle it you see all that new growth in there yeah she been doing her thing this is a great plant because it was um it was slick dying in soil and it made me sad so i was like you're going in water like you just you have to go in water and she's been doing great in water so i'm just like so 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 happy and since it is like literally growing this much in water i won't be moving it back to soil so yeah we will check on this in about two weeks to see how big it has gotten from now and this is a lucene l-u-s-e-a-n-e -E. i don't know something around that nature i'll show y'all one that i have growing I'll show y'all one that I have growing in soil and what I propagated it for. This is her growing in soil. She's doing great. So I just took a baby to start growing one in water. But yeah, she does great in water or soil as you can see clearly. I am, oh, you see the little crown apple bottle. See, you can use anything. Anything is a home for a plant, seriously. But yeah, great plant to grow in water. I just broke this glass, y'all. I'm always breaking something but yeah she's doing great in water i do have her a little friend growing in soil as well this is another variation of the pothos this is a several blue pothos plant and she's growing in water as well in one of my older videos somebody commented and told me that i can grow snake plant in water so i've been trying it and it's been working it's rooting very good i obviously need to change this water but this snake plant just make sure it has roots first I mean, it can grow without it, but I've been having more success if the snake plant already has roots, like you take it straight from soil and just put it in the water. But yeah, don't give it too much sun. This been in the sun too much, and that's why the water is all green. It's producing a lot. But yeah, don't put it in the sun. This is a little avocado plant on the side that I just put in here so it can have a friend. But yeah, the snake plant has been chilling in water. For the most part, I think that's it. I have an alocasia growing in water, but it's only been a couple days, maybe like a week. So I want to give it some time. I just feel like it's really iffy right now. And I do want Monstera so I can grow Monstera in water. But yeah, this is the alocasia growing in water. It's definitely growing new roots, so that's always a good sign. But sometimes the leaves be acting up, so yeah. We're going to check back on this and I'll let y'all know if it's alive or not. I need to put some more stinks in here so it can stand up. For a quick little plant tour, a little update on everybody. Look at that foliage. Oh, my bird of paradise. It started unfurling a new leaf. So that's always a good sign. Look at the pineapple doing this thing. I need to repot this, y'all. Look at this leaf. Just look at it. Look at my girl. So yeah, y'all, that was my favorite hydroponically grown plants and a little quick plant tour. So I will, obviously, I'm update y'all in a couple days, couple weeks with how everything is doing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. My favorite ones are the plant ones, obviously. But yeah, everybody have a great day. Bye, guys.